And now, I played Crab Champions for like an hour today. Not even like an hour, like probably like 30 minutes. And so now all of my, like, whether I click F or E is all busted up. Oh, I was like, where the f- I, I gave it to this beach, I'm like, where the fuck is my house? Um, I'm looking, so my, one of my goals today is to get just like a shit ton of Vixies. Because I've only heard rumors, and as far as I'm aware, they are purely rumors. But I have heard that if you like, um, there's this thing called an extractor. And if you extract the same amount of pals into another one, it basically makes them, like, a higher stat pal. And I've heard that Vixies of a higher stat could potentially give you better rewards because it also levels up their skill, their passive skill. Or, I guess it doesn't have to be passive, but their pal skill. I've only heard rumors. I have no confirmation if that's an actual thing, but if we level it up, I'm pretty sure it is confirmed that it just gets you more stuff easily. So might as well do it anyways. Just because I felt like the days and nights were moving fast, even though apparently days and nights are 30 minutes each. Uh, so... Oh, I did not mean. I keep forgetting that I don't have base pals or pal spheres. But just check this Vixie out. Already, I just came back. Already got two pal spheres made. Literally no, nothing, nothing to it. We're gonna keep. We're gonna keep this up. And keep making some pal spheres just so we have a lot of disposable pal spheres going into the dungeon. Because nothing like going in the dungeon with three like high quality balls, get nothing, and then throwing one not quality ball and getting it. So, and we have a large damp egg taking 16 minutes left. So I'm excited for that. The big pals, so I really, really want to get a big Mosanda, like the boss Mosanda. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and maybe cheese it if we have the chance to. I'm excited to get back into, or I'm excited to get into breeding in this game. Because I've heard a lot of really interesting things about it and I know really nothing like, the egg hatching stuff just seems super fun. And as it turns nighttime, I think it's a perfect time to just go into a dungeon. So let's go. Gives our Vixies some time, but I we definitely got to go look for more Vixies. We might do some bosses today. I got a lot of stuff that I want to do. We'll see how much um, I get done. Because this game is the video game equivalent of walking into a room and forgetting what you were doing there. Or what you needed. And then going to do something else. That is the... This is the... That's this video game. It's forgetting what you were doing. Simulator. Um, alright. Hopefully we have a better run in the dungeon. My brother in Christ. It is clipping through the ground. Alright. That fuddler is a little bit of a lost cause. Tragic, I know, but... I don't understand why 20% isn't a good catch rate for these guys. But I guess I just gotta beat him up a little bit more. He's gonna shoot me from the ground, brother. Dude, what is up with the frame rate today? Oh my god, stay in the ball, please. It's because I got excited to play this game. You can't be excited to do something or else everything goes wrong. Making cake is kind of annoying, though. That's fair. But, brother, the other one was, like, knocking it away, and I hit that guy at full health. We got a workaholic, that's nice. Okay. 
Get him, big guy. Nice distractions, big guy. Whew. I also got to remember that I'm not the level I am on the server. <laughs> Because that's going to be something that I forget. But here's what I'm thinking for the uh, the main team. I'm thinking Celeray's probably going to stay on. Celeray's maybe going to be the one that I would probably remove and just swap out for a glider or another gliding pet at some point. But for right now, Celeray. I think we're going to get um, a Jolt Hog of some flavor, whether it's the ice or the electric one. Um... I want Mosanda. So that's three pals. Then I want Dinosum. And I think we, we have an open slot for something else. I can't remember if I wanted anything. But I basically want the three major, or the four major ones is Dinosum, Mosanda, Joltog, and Celery. This looks like an ore room, I guess. Like, does this not have any... I'm gonna... Okay, we're in a fight. I might lower my settings as well, because this game, I have no idea what's up. Like, what it... it... doesn't show me. Uh, graphics. Maybe it reset my graphics. Max FPS is 60. Texture medium... Grass detail. Did it turn off motion blur? Motion blur is off. Uh, all right, let's just try that. I haven't. Uh, I'm not. I don't even know how to pronounce that deer's name, but the deer, the purple deer with swift trait as the best thing ever. Nice. How's it going, Schmeeps? Um. Did we go... Didn't we go from that way? I'm a huge fan of the performance of this game right now. Not a huge fan right now, but it's okay. We're gonna breathe, we're gonna relax, and it's not the end of the world, but it is really annoying. It increases that little sore spot in the middle of your forehead. You know, the stress headache. Anytime you want to do anything, Timber, it's, you know, it's your choice. You're, you're on vacation, I guess. Thanks, bud. Try not to get snippy with you, Timber, I'm sorry. I'm stressed. Um. Okay. I also still feel like they're not on automatic attack. There we go. I might lower my frame rate down. Just a bit, because I don't mind it running at 30. Jesus Christ. Yes, I do, apparently. Fucking hell. Are you gonna... Okay, no, I do. I do care. I feel like it's worse frames at three... At fucking... 30 frames. Jesus Christ. Um... Okay, I'm, I need to fucking test if my pals are on auto aggro because it, unless Timber is the slowest fucking pal alive for attacking, yeah, it does not, it seems like he just sits there until he gets hit. And I have it set for them to auto attack. I don't know what's going on. Pal world, what is going on today? Okay. Like, command... Attack aggressive. Okay, and then we're gonna just chuck Celery into the fight. Celery shoots fast. 
I'm so lost, too. I'm fucking stressed out here. Okay, accelerate. There we are. Fucking hell. Okay. I'm like so... I'm so lost here. But then again, I he's just sitting there. <laughs> there he goes. I don't know. Maybe I'm just absolutely stressed out of my mind. Oh, okay. Um, deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths. Huh? Oh, I was like, why did he disappear? It's because I'm using him as a glider. <laughs> the only negative thing about using a pal as a glider, I guess. If you send them out to be an attacker, they don't attack. Where am I even going, man? I'm so lost. I'm so freaking lost. There's Mao. I've never seen... Never seen, never caught a Mao yet. Of course we should, of course we shoot it like that. Do I still have my bow on me? Not equipped. Oh my god, game. Dude, whenever you want to reload the fucking crossbow. I think I might go back to the bow just because of the reload. There we go. Okay. So good, man. This guy is like me, just without the S. He's Masu without the S. It's Mao. Yeah, keep hitting the sulfur vein, idiot. Up. Apparently I'm the idiot. Up. Oh my god. What is that? Okay. <laughs> I gotta throw slightly above. Beauty. Dodging while you reload cancels it, but it's like, th this is my only issue with it. It's not even like that dodging while reloading cancels it is, is the issue for me. Is that it automatically reloads, and then when you cancel it, it stops automatic reloads. So you don't automatically reload it again. So then how am I supposed to know if I need to re- like, like, just either make me have to reload it every time, or, like, manually- or automatically reload whenever you have a chance to reload. I don't know. I'm just like, that. that's the thing that's fucking pissed me off. Because it'll do the animation, make the sound, I go, okay, we've reloaded. And then the game's like, you didn't reload, you, you actually rolled. And so I'm like, cool, I love that my character is trying to reload right now. Oh, he's not. Because the game isn't doing that. It's my one thing that I don't like about this really, really badly. But other than that, it's a pretty good weapon. But I'm also just stressed. I think we might have found the front entrance again. Oh no, this is a treasure room? Didn't mean to kill him, but I also subconsciously attempted. Like, I, I, I did that on purpose. Is this... Where is this? Just a... Uh, okay. Not this direction. I have not been paying attention to uh, to where I've been going. We're doing what I call the soap method, even though Potato kind of told me about it first, but... Soap. 
soap was telling us about how to slide and glide. We need three more daydreams. This is a great way to get daydreams is just by doing dungeons. Nice. Honestly, just catching things is the best way to get levels. We can make the Arxon saddle, Arxox saddle. We can make a Nightwing saddle. We can make heat resistant clothing. We can make a mill, which is nice. Metal chest. Uh, Mega shield. We have a lot of stuff. Mega shield is weirdly easy to make. Uh, I don't necessarily care that it's easy to make. Like, it's not a bad thing. But it's weirdly easy. I think I'm going to try to get to 200 stamina. Oh, here's the boss room. I'm going to get to 200 stamina, and then I'm going to pump the rest into health and carry capacity. Okay, so here's an interesting thing that I want to show you guys. So you see that that is a lift monk, right? Uh, do we have the chill it saddle? No, we don't. So you see that that's a lift monk. Please stop. Anytime. Uh, and then, if you're in a dungeon right now, this is definitely most likely not intentional, so if you don't want to do non-intentional things in your game, which is totally valid, don't do this, but if you run sort of, I always run about two rooms away, um, if you run two rooms away from the boss room, and it's gonna be probably different per area, and it's definitely easier if you have a fast pal to ride on. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to this room right here. We're gonna kill these guys. So you see that these guys are in this room? I'm either we haven't gone into this room yet or they've respawned, and I'm pretty sure they've respawned. So like this isn't a set dungeon with a set number of, of people. It's a it is a uh like an area in the game that respawns things as you leave and as you enter. So we, we leave this area. And we come back. I'm a little disappointed by the the leaf monk. Not gonna be on gonna be honest with you. I didn't really want a big one of that. But let's see if we get something better. If we get the dine awesome, that is best case scenario. I am not gonna be doing this sort of uh, exploit very often. I don't think really I'm gonna be doing it anymore after this, other than trying to get the Mossanda. Because the Mossanda being gi the giant Mossanda is the only giant mon that I actually want. So, uh, like, actually, actually really badly want. I want the Grass Monsanda that is a alpha. And the best way to get that is by doing dungeons. Well, the only way to get that is by doing dungeons, I'm pretty sure. Wrong way? Is this not the correct way? Is this not the correct way? I don't know, man. Literally every area looks the exact same. No. I got into my head that for some reason this hallway area leads to why, why are you why were you oh it's because i used you as a glider did the way i just stop using you it's always the entrance within the scaffolding i don't know i'll trust you for now but i've heard a lot of different things like i've heard that this hallway leads you to the to the dun or to the boss room every time uh i think we need like three more of these brother yeah I knew that was gonna happen I'm not a huge fan of them just being able to knock shit away for no reason like sometimes they do sometimes they don't I'd like a little bit more rhyme or reason to it stronghold strategist and an artisan that's a really good daydream Sucks that daydream isn't like a crazy 
use for that, but... Okay, let's see. We just made sure... Hey! Oh, wait, this is actually great for me, because I wanted a bunch of Vixies. I literally talked about how I want all these Vixies. So this is actually a perfect opportunity for me. I just need to try and not kill all of them. And also not die myself. Okay, we're going to toss you out. Um, we're going to actually toss you out. Okay. Anytime you guys want to not target me. Okay, turn you. I think I killed the Vixie that I was going to try to catch. Cool. Okay, back up there. Um, dude, please, game. For the love of Christ. Oh my god. This is going so... This is going so well. Okay. Um... Where is the boss, Vixie? My armor's damaged. Where's the box? Boss. Where's the boss? Where's the boss? Anybody know where the boss is? What happened to the boss? Hey, boss! Where did the boss go? Pal world? They teleport back after a bit? Okay. Also, I never saw that statue. That's a cool statue. Should I leave and come back? Oh, there it is. Okay. We're gonna climb back up here. If I had a better angle, I would have shot him a little bit better. Probably not, but it's funny to lie. Okay. That hit. There it goes. Dude, this I'm getting skyrimmed now. Come on, pal world. Let's not be let's not be skyrimming people. Did that not go through its fucking skull? I hate that it plays the reloading crossbow sound when you, even if you dodge. The the hitbox on this guy is a little bit jank, but it's okay. It's okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. Just don't kill. <laughs> it's okay. First ball is easy clap. Fuck off. First ball is easy clap. YouTube short. First ball easy clap. Easy clap in the first ball. Let's fucking go. First try, excellent. Literally first try, let's fucking go. Literally first try, I'm absolutely cracked. Uh, also, did he drop stuff? Or are we picked up the civilization parts? The fact that that was first ball and we caught all of his ads was insane. Am I delusional? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Uh, Pendant of Diligence. Increases work speed. We got the Hydro Jets. We got the Ignis Blast. That's from something else. We got a lot of Devil Fruit. I'm farming for the best clips, exactly. Um... We're one off the penguin launcher. You got a rare handgun blueprint way before you unlock the, ha the handgun. That's so funny. That's how it be, man. That's how it be. Incubation, guys. What kind of egg do you think? What do you think is going to come out of this blue egg? Give me all of your luck here. Oh. Up. I forgot I have to hold this. Oh. Oh. <gasps> 
Let's fucking go. We got Pen King. And I'm pretty sure I mean it was a it was a large egg, so it could be a big one, but I'm pretty sure it's the short king version. <laughs> we love Pen King. Uh I think Pen King is literally just better penguin, so I think I'm actually gonna swap out guy. He's got runner, which I think increases his movement speed, which is actually really good. Um, all right. Okay, okay, okay. What we can make a Nightwing saddle and an Arsok saddle, as well as a mill and a Mega Shield. I don't think we have enough for the Mega Shield right now, and I think we need um some stuff for the Mega Shield. I'm going to repair this. I'm going to repair this. Uh, we need. I think we need a different. Yeah, we need a better workshop i think we need the advanced or the high quality workbench which is nails ingots okay um let me drop some of these in here oh we do have uh, more ancient parts here that's four of them okay. let's see what else do we have around here we do have some more eggs we don't have any big eggs, it looks like. Just regular sized eggs, which is fine. Sometimes that's how how it do. How it do, Yugi. Um, okay. Put you there. I'm gonna check out what they've been doing. I really love standing right next to the chest. See, it's uh, the honeymoon phase is over for me with Power World. I still absolutely love it, and I'm addicted to it. But now I'm like, brother, just just do the thing. <laughs> I'm just like, why? Okay. Again, I am right next to the fucking thing. Uh, and my guy is doing a dance in front of me. I literally can sniff the contents of this box and it won't let me put it in. Uh, here's some. So they're going to probably put a lot of the pal spheres in this chest because it's the closest nearby. Um, okay, what do I want to do? I kind of just want to grind levels and maybe try to get a Nightwing. Um, for the Nightwing saddle. We need ingots, cloth, and pallium fragments. Uh, okay. We start that production. We need five cloth? Ten cloth, excuse me. Sorry, Daydream. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Start production. Now you can go. Uh, and then we need ingots. So ingots and palladium fragments. This is probably a good time to start looking for a good place to get ingots. Um, You don't have anything special, do you? I mean, 70 work speed over 90 work speed? Yeah, because you're a work slave. Um, why am I blind? There he is. We're going to take Pumbaa with us. Uh, let's check out this area. Oh, wait, do I have... I have a high-quality workbench right here. I'm so silly. Uh, Pallium fragments. Okay, let's go grab... Go grab the fragments around the beach. We should start a mill at some point just to be able to have infinite fragments. Um, okay. Fragments are at 31. Okay, let's head back. Any fuck in time, you want to hit the stupid thing. Serious, he's a serious slacker. 